Hello everyone, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program 0.23, where I am trying to go through the career mode in stock as quickly as possible, and making sure to do no mission without any Kerbals. So all missions will be crewed, no probe missions, no test missions or anything like that, and just going through career mode like that. So yeah, so it's a new challenge for me. And of course one I've picked up because I'm sort of waiting to see when the mods will be updated for point two three so I can continue my other two series, the Elegant Design Bureau series which I started originally, and the Institute for Kerbal Studies series, both of which have different premises and so are sort of separate from this particular idea I have. So anyway, just going through career mode, and this is how much technology we have purchased so far. And with this, we are going to go to the moon. Alright, so let's go to the VAB and see what updates I need to make on my previous rocket to make it moon ready. Really, the Gamma rocket was pretty, pretty much ready to go for the moon anyway. It had the Delta V necessary, clearly, I mean, uh, by, by a long ways. But we do need to add some experiments to it now, so let's sneak those in. We've got the Science Junior, and we need some GUI experiments. As usual, I'm going to try to return everything together, so no need for antennae. We are we're going through career mode as quickly as possible, so of course returning things together will give you the most points, and especially since they've removed any sort of spamming of science. Uh, whoop. Trying to create the normal sort of vehicle that I use, but maybe I should do something a little bit more novel. Something a little bit more irregular. Huh. Well, let's say we'll see what we've got. First of all, I should add some battery packs. We don't have. Uh, well, let's let's add a few more. Because the reaction wheel still need battery. And we don't have solar panels yet. What else do we have? Well, I think this will be enough. This stuff, the science stuff is a little bit heavy, I think. 0 0.3, 0 0.2, 0 0.5 altogether, this part. We've got the parachutes. How much do the parachutes weigh? So there is a little bit more mass to this. We've added quite a bit more mass. Maybe we should add a little bit more fuel. Why do we have two of these small tanks? We should just have one big tank, right? Well, maybe I'll add one big tank like... Well, okay, let's see. This is one ton. Let's call the parachutes and all the science another ton. Two tons. This is uh, 2.25. And this is another one. This rocket can carry five tons. So it's going to be a little bit overweight, but it doesn't need a thrust to weight ratio of one it can deal with a thrust weight ratio less than one so I think this will be fine alright this will obviously have to be renamed this is not the gamma anymore now we seem to have a lot of thrust initially but I don't know if I should sneak another one of these in here just to make it all even we haven't gotten fuel lines yet so no uh, no asparagus staging or anything like that. Should we sneak uh, saw a few boosters at the bottom? Could do that. Hmm. No, I, I think it will it'll wiggle out if I try and do that. We don't have struts, and nor, uh, on the on the Institute for Kerbal Studies version, when I added the solid fuel boosters to the bottom, it was when these tanks were welded to the side of this instead of having decouplers. So I don't know if doing that would be a good idea. We don't really need extra reaction wheel. I thought it was pretty stable going up when we did it last time. I can't see that just adding the science portion will be enough to destabilize it. We don't have launch clamps, so with that I think this is what we're going with. We're obviously not going to land on the moon this time. We're just going to do flyby. Ooh, we haven't even done these experiments in Kerbin orbit. 
but whatever. I mean, let's just go to the moon. Heck. Uh, and again, in my... In doing things a little bit differently, instead of sending Jeb to the moon, we will be sell sending... Well, we'll just go with the existing rotation. We went Jed, Bob, Bill. So the next is Bob. Alright, so Bob is going to the moon. Bob has been getting all the cool gigs. But uh, we're not going to change that. Let's just go with it. Alright, out to the launch pad. Alright, Bob, let's see if you can get to the moon and back. Uh, don't waste any time, any fuel, or uh, or anything. Uh, fortunately, you don't have any oxygen to worry about, so let's just get going. Liftoff is good, even with the extra weight. I'll probably have to keep my calculator at my side to make sure that we do have enough for the lunar transit and the return back. Uh, no good just doing it one way, because otherwise we're going to lose Bob, and that is not acceptable. Not acceptable at all. I can't wait to unlock 2.5 meter parts in this, because I still haven't unlocked 2.5 meter parts in the Institute of Kerbal Studies series after more than 21 episodes. I, I don't know, how many episodes have I done? Definitely more than 21. Uh, so yeah, 2.5 meter parts is something I have not seen in career mode in... ever. I've never seen 2.5 meter parts in career mode, so really looking forward to that. So, Bob, make sure you get a ton of science so I can get to those. Now, there's no point trying to do the goo experiments here because we can't spam science. Once I do them, they're done for. So, so better save them for, for the moon or for deep space, well, for high over Kerbin at least. Somewhere interesting. Not that Kerbin's atmosphere isn't interesting, but you know what I mean. Okay. Turning. Hopefully I didn't jinx anything by saying it was so stable. Looks alright. Oh, I, I had better remember not to do gravity turns like this under firm aerospace. Just, that would be bad. Bob is really worried. But, you know, I guess it's his MO or something. Okay. Another thing I can't wait to get to is the science labs. I want to build a space station in this. Okay. Yeah, totally want to build a space station in this particular stock series. So we can have a nice stock station to... Uh, to gaze at in wonder and joy okay and so all is well still going up moon is there we're probably gonna have to make orbit before trying to get to the moon I think I think that's gonna be how it works doesn't look like we would be seeing it on the horizon at this point it's where is it Oh, there it is. It's already passed. So not the best time to burn to the moon. Could still. I probably could still just burn straight now and still hit it. Let's just uh, test that premise. Uh, why is it so... F oh, I know it's why it's fidgety. Of course, I'm still accelerating. I'm still going up. Okay, well, uh, let's just keep going up. Heck. Mm, let's just go horizontal and keep burning, keep burning, keep burning. Oh, I think uh, we just uh, expended that stage. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. All right. I think I had said something about checking before I burn for the moon to make sure I had enough delta V. So that is out of the window. I want a free return. I very much want a free return. So I want to cross in front of it. Looks like I'd hardly be able to avoid that. 
Oh, that's not bad. Oh, that's that's a crash. Actually, that's crashing into the moon. Uh, that's very close to the free return trajectory, though. That is very much what I want, except for the whole crashing. Oh, okay. Ah, huh. well, I don't have deadly reentry, so this sort of a thing is not necessarily bad. Okay. Well, once I uh, go around and do that whole thing. Yeah, okay. Ooh, 4,000. Um, hmm. Maybe a bit close on that then. Yeah. Oh, uh, reduce, reduce, reuse. No. Um. Okay, how much is that? Okay, 59,000 I'm a little bit more comfortable with. Though on this side we're going to crash into Kerbin. That's not necessarily a problem without uh, daily re-entry. Uh... But I'll just fix that once we are on the way back. Uh, it'll be a very trivial burn on that other side. So, this looks great. Uh, 650? Free return trajectory. As long as we make the 650, we will be good to go. And I think this has enough delta V, even without uh, grabbing my calculator. I can trust that this has enough delta V, but I don't need to burn right now because we've got three minutes. Let's get a little bit closer, like around here. Now burn. Bob's happy. Bob knows he's going to be going somewhere this time. We can do one of the goo experiments once we're high over Kerbin. I'm not going to do any of the goo experiments or science junior experiments uh, near Kerbin's proximity. Because I'm going to save that for for a space station, actually. I think that, that would be the best thing. I, do them all on a space station, why not? Well, I'll just wait a little bit longer. Almost burning perpendicular to the moon, but... But we're getting there. Okay, let's see what it looks like. I might have been ill-advised in burning the way I did. I don't know if I'm gonna get as close as I want to. Okay, let me get rid of the actual maneuver and see what I'm actually doing. Uh, oh, that's even better, I think. Closer to having an actual periapsis here. And that's nice and tight around the moon. Alright, I think that's that's great. Plenty of fuel left. Could potentially make orbit around the moon, but Hmm. Should we make orbit around the moon? Let's go over there and see. Let's not let's not think about that here. I think we're high over Kerbin now, so let's do a goo experiment. In space high over Kerbin, indeed. Uh the goo feels right at home here. Recovery only ten. Alright, well we'll keep the data anyway. It's certainly something new. Alright, let's head out to the moon alright technically the loop the loop looks like this and let's see how much we need to burn to make orbit not very much alright well heck free return trajectory whatever we can make orbit let's make orbit we are in a hurry to do science we are impatient to gather as much knowledge about our universe as possible. So let us not 
not neglect any opportunity even though pretty much all the glory in this entire series is going to Bob Kerman but you know hey sometimes even Bob has to have his day oh I could have done a gooey experiment high over the moon and I can't let me see so now in this version Reset goo canister? Can we reset goo canister? Well, I guess I better check it out now. I mean, I thought we wouldn't be able to reset goo canister. Will I lose, just lose? Well, it's only 10 units of data. Okay, let's try this. Can we observe Mystery Goo now? I thought we wouldn't be able to do that. I guess it's only if you transmit it. Then it's, then it's done for. So we wouldn't be able to spam observations. Anyway, this is much better. Space high over the moon, worth 30. Let's keep this. Okay. All right. Uh, and while we're high over the moon, Bob, could you EVA, please? EVA report. Observations recorded, worth 24 science. Forward. Very nice. All right. So we are going to lose our maneuver node, right? It uh, doesn't matter because all I have to do is get to our periapsis of 28 kilometers and burn retrograde. So let's do this. Okay, that is close enough. Let's burn retrograde. That's orbit, I think. Yes. When the camera changes, you know something interesting has happened. Okay. Well, I guess we can get a little bit closer than that. still a little bit closer than that okay that's as close as I want to get skimming the moon's surface for science now goo container give us some observations the goo feels right at home here but this is near the moon instead of high over the moon so this is gonna be a different 30 science and uh, observe the materials bay the high radiation environment caused a few of the samples to glow and of course we're going to paint rockets with that. So 75 signs for that, keep that. Bob, EVA for me please. What's your report? These in the Midlands. I hope those observa observations were not hampered by the fact that you are in total darkness. 24 signs though, keep the data and board. But while we're in darkness, I'm not going to do any more observations because I want to actually see what biomes we're passing over so I know for future reference. Oh, I think I see two craters here. Uh, could you just give me an observation whether this, these two craters are significant? No, they aren't. So reset the experiment and board. Okay, proceeding. Let us get to the brightness. And the closeness. Yes. Ah, sunlight. That's put a bit more of a view on the situation. Midlands. We we did Midlands. Okay. I practically need Herman von. Uh, what is his name? Werner von Kerman uh, out here with me so I can ask him constantly what we've already done. Okay, EVA for me please. Highlands, keep that data and board. Bob, you are going to be our science genius here. Anything interesting here? Doesn't look very interesting. Just looks like craters, craters, and more craters. Probably just highlands or midlands or something like that. 
Uh, that looks interesting. That looks like a canyon of some sort, but we're not quite passing over it. Uh, well, try out here anyway. Nope, Midlands. Okay. Procedez-vous. Mm. Sometimes these indentations are actually craters, and I don't know it, but... Look at this series of little craters, like like pebbles sort of just kept bouncing on the surface. EVA for me. Bob, what do you think of all that? No, you just think it's still the Midlands. All right. Tell me when you think it's not the Midlands. How about that? Well, there's a crater coming up. I'm sure that's one of the standard ones. I really should try this out in a more inclined orbit. What sort of orbit are we in anyway? Yeah, we're, we're very equatorial. Up, oh, Kerbin. Let's get over this crater proper. Okay, Bob, name this crater. The far side crater, indeed. Name that for a comic? Was that? Yeah, anyway. We're going back into the dark here, and we're not seeing many interesting features. Still want to know whether that canyon in the Institute for Kerbal Studies is really some other biome or not. But I think uh, that's on the dark side. Oh no, it was at an inclination, I remember. We had an inclined orbit that time. Okay, uh, what do you suppose this area is, Bob? I can't even click on you, I'm so far out. And still, ah, there we go. Northwest Crater, alright. 24 points for the Northwest Crater. Should be the North by Northwest Crater. We should keep some cultural references going. Uh, I can't even see what's going on here. Bob, can you see anything? Nope. Midlands. Midlands is Bob's way of telling us that there's nothing interesting going on here. This looks exceptionally dark, Bob. What do you think? East Crater. Oh. I don't think I've ever hit the East Crater before. Alright. Keep the data. We've, we're calling this the East Crater. There is something called the East Crater. And now, thanks to the... Thanks to Werner von Kerwin, we will know that we have seen such a thing called the East Crater. And that we can visit it. And get soil samples from it. Not soil samples. Surface samples. I don't know if it's considered soil. More Midlands. Okay, well I think we... We should try a non-equatorial orbit next time. And... Oh, he seems unhappy about... Uh, well, get out there and tell me what you see. Nope. So I guess he's unhappy with the prospect of leaving the moon or moon or orbit anyway, but we have to. We have to go back home now. I think we've done enough of this sort of thing, and I'm sure he's... whoops, not that ways. I'm sure he's gotten more science than any Kerbal has ever gotten before in this save, so no worries about that. In fact, uh, Bob, we really need to hire some competition for Bob. We need to hire some really brilliant Kerbals to give Bob a run for his money. Alright, that looks like a good descent. No deadly re-entry, so I can manage it without any sweat off of my brow. Well, Bob seems happy enough with his accomplishments, so... So we'll be all right. Okay, 
Bob, time to return to the ticker tape parade. We're going to make sure you're properly welcomed. Okay, actually, while we're here, I, f I keep forgetting to do a crew, crew report, but let's do one now. You look down at the cold gray surface, it looks really beat up with craters. Yes, yes, Bob, I think we could actually have seen that from Kerbin, but uh, let's keep that data. I'm, I'm depressed that the reaction wheels constantly tell me that they, there's not enough electricity, uh, or L something. I don't know what's up with that. Okay, anyway. Ooh, very nice. Uh, okay, okay, enough. Uh, we're going around the wrong way, aren't we? Well, I guess there's no wrong way. Okay, retrograde please. Let's hope our, well, I know our extra parachute should be able to carry this, so. No worries. We've got a goo container, material bay, and another goo container full of science. Should I retro burn? Yeah, I guess so. Bring our apoapsis in a bit. Avoid dumping the extra fuel on unsuspecting inhabitants. After all, we don't have deadly entry, so this will not burn up in the atmosphere. It will end up junk on the surface. Okay, well that's that's more than enough anyway. So, I think we could probably get to Minmus. Yeah, I think we could probably get to Minmus. Let's dump this uh, right. All right. Ooh, I wouldn't have dared do this. Yeah, this is luxury, folks. Being able to come down this hot. Truly, truly something I I look forward to when I play stock. Yep, no more orbit. We're coming down. Oh, uh, where are we coming down? I can't see, it's in dark. Oh god, I hope there's no mountains. We won't even know what hit us if there are mountains down there. I can't see a darn thing. Given all the fuel, maybe I should have just tried to uh, control my landing and land in the water. That would have been a much better idea than just not knowing what's going to come now. Alright, uh, we are at parachute deployment speeds, so... Once I get lights, I promise that I'll put lights. Well, I, I promise if I remember that I'll put lights, which is something I've never done in my series. I, I always forget to put lights on these things. But uh, I will try to remember to do that in in this series. So, a luxury I can afford. It will give me a reason to pack some more electric charge. Alright, we've got parachutes and it looks like the land is only 500 meters tall. So we should be all right. It shouldn't be rough ground. And hopefully it's a biome that we haven't visited before. Then Bob can uh, hop out. We'll recover him separately. We won't be able to get him back into the capsule if we let him get out. But uh, that will be a constructive thing to do. And we'll put the icing on the cake on what has been a remarkable scientific journey. Okay, so Bob, 
Let's hope this isn't desert. I can't see where it is. But uh, EVA, please. Ah, you have a light. Whoop. Okay, get right up again. Resilient Kerbals. Uh, get your light on. Yeah. Looks looks greenish. Yeah. Could you take a sur <clears throat> take a surf sample? Grasslands. Nine points. EV report. 2.4 points as usual. And I can't get you back in the capsule, can I? Uh, yeah. Nope. All right, let's just recover vessel and and then recover the capsule separately. All right. Okay, just a trivial amount from Bob since that's just the grassland stuff. But let's see what we have hidden in the capsule. And really, it's going to be a spectacular amount, I hope. Okay, the Delta capsule. Recover. Yep. 310! 310 science points earned on that mission to the moon. Uh, just not even landing on it, just doing experiments in orbit, making observations. We should do much more of such things, but but uh, we, we must plug on. And next, well, in the next episode, I guess uh, we should land on the moon. Definitely. And I... We'll either give give it to uh, Jeb, or I'm going to hire some new Kerbals. Yeah. So, uh, watch next time for um, the first moon landing in this series. Completely stock, so it'll be different from what I do in Institute for Kerbal Studies. I have never just used stock parts to land on the moon in Institute for Kerbal Studies. So, this will be the first time I'm going to use just stock parts to do such things. Alright, so thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please do press like. And if you have any comments and suggestions, leave them below. And I'll see you next time.